Okay, so DeX is an operating system that Samsung phones use when you connect them to a big screen. Uh, and they give you like a desktop experience, so you get things like a taskbar, and uh, just the layout and everything mimics a desktop. Well, this is uh, very similar to that. It's not DeX. Uh, it is running on Android, and I'll just switch into screen capture. So the OS I'm using is OmniROM, and it's uh, Android 12 it's based on. Uh, and if you want to call up the app, if I press F for Firefox, you can see Firefox comes up, and it launches really nicely. And this definitely changes Android with a mouse and keyboard on a non-touchscreen environment. It definitely makes it much, much nicer. Uh, this is Firefox, which I've installed from the Aurora store, I think it is. So if I search down the bottom here. So if we go to the OmniROM site, uh, there is a section for Raspberry Pi 4. And you can see there's loads of versions. I've just downloaded the latest version uh, without Google Apps. I had trouble with the Google Apps version. I just couldn't get it to register whatever I tried. Uh, I wanted to use the Google Play Store, but... I'm not really worried that the Google Play Store isn't working because I quite often get the comment that people don't want the Google Play Store. But uh, I'll keep trying to get it working anyway because that was the original video I was working on. So if I go back to the desktop, you can see if I click on the little Windows icon at the bottom here, you get a start panel. I can scroll up and down with the scroll wheel on the mouse. Uh, and it means that launching and finding apps is much, much nicer. Uh, there is a search function as well and I can search for apps in here in exactly the same way. So if I type in Asphalt, you can see that comes up. Uh, if I close that and tap on this PC, uh, you can see I've got access to all my main folders here. If I scroll down, uh, I also have storage. I haven't expanded the storage on this. I don't know what the OneDrive bit is, uh, whether that's uh, Google Drive. I don't know, I haven't really tested that. Uh, you also have, if we click on Recycle Bin, so you can see it comes up in a window and the window can be moved around. Now, I did have it, when I first installed this, I did have something else installed called Taskbar and uh, the windows were coming up and were resizable. I can't seem to get them to resize now. So if I was to go into settings, you can see it comes up full screen and I can't see a way of making it smaller. Now in one of the videos I saw, um, they pulled down from the top, but because this is Android 12, um, it, it comes up with this uh, and you can drag down and get more options on there. So that's part of OmniROM anyway or Android 12. So if I close that down, I have got a notification center on the bottom right hand corner here. So you've got various different settings you can adjust. What does the memory do? Oh, so the memory is the storage bit. And you can see it works nicely. Brightness control, uh, again, more settings here. Uh, and with this sort of settings control, uh, you can tap on the menu and you can change your theme and I can scroll down with the mouse you can see various different things you can adjust I can change the background on here I just picked a 1080 wallpaper but you can have wallpaper that changes by itself start panel very very customizable taskbar you can see all sorts of things you can turn on and off if you don't like them being in the way Cortana as well apps or just loads of things. And even this, you can scroll down, like you can see there's loads more down here as well, gesture control, there's lots of shortcuts and things like that as well. It is, It just is very impressive, really nice to use. Um, but I wanna know what uh, anybody else uses as this sort of uh, desktop replacement or home screen replacement, because I stumbled across this and I really do like it. I think it's, told, I think it's here, uh, yeah, if you go there, so there are premium features, you can manage subscriptions, but this is just the free version. And at some point it comes up with that it's ad free. Um, so, and I haven't had any ads or any pop-ups or anything like that. So yeah, just, just ordinary searching for apps, I find is much, much better on this. Uh, here we go, look, Win-X Launcher. But I didn't download this from the Google Play Store. I downloaded it from the Aurora Store, which comes built into this version of OmniROM. And you can see it comes up with uh, a load of apps. All the main ones seem to be in there. So some of the Google made apps aren't going to install because I haven't got G apps on here at the moment. But I really would like to try that because I've got GTA San Andreas, which I had working very well with Chromium OS. And I'd like to try and get it working with this version of Android. It crashes on the uh, Consta Kang version of Android, which is definitely the one I mainly use and which is the one I've got a separate video on explaining how to install Google apps into Android 12. But uh, I like to have more options, and this is a really nice polished operating system, especially when installing this separate home screen. Uh, it, it just makes it much, much nicer. But you've got to search down the bottom here, 
and you can just tap in. So if I type in, say, Minecraft, you can see it comes up. Actually, it said Minecraft free. There's a, there's a free version, but this one, the, the standard version of Minecraft, is uh, 749. And you can see all the screenshots come up in the same way as they would on a normal Play Store. I haven't really used the Aurora Store much, but it, it does work really well. And all of the apps that I've installed, so if we go back to the home screen, so all of these apps that I've installed have been installed from there. Edge has some weird thing with video, um, but Firefox works fine on video on this. So if I type in YouTube, and we go for Lee PSP Video HDR, and let's launch that. 1080 is not so great, but uh, 720 is fine. So as you can see, playing pretty well. You can see down the bottom here, if I click on the eye, it tells me about the launcher, so what version it is and everything. And down the bottom here, things like date and time gives you a nice calendar. Uh, and you can see here, battery status and brightness and all the volume controls. And I did have a way of uh, displaying the temperature and status at the top of the screen, but I can't find it. I've got it listed down as under this PC, but I've gone through these settings and I can't see it, whether I have to right click somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah, I just can't see it anywhere. But there are so many options in here. Uh, it really is very, very clever. And it does make Android much nicer to navigate with a mouse and keyboard. And uh, it's also really easy to delete things. So if I wanted to delete Asphalt, if I just hold down left click, uh, you can see I've got all these options where I can put it, um, but I've also got an uninstall option, and it uninstalls really quickly. And if I call up this PC uh, and I go to Downloads, you can see the downloads come up with the icons and everything here. I've got my image that I downloaded for the background. Uh, which is just an ordinary 1080 wallpaper and that comes up in a resizable window so that's how it should work as i say i i can't get it to resize most of the apps um, but i think it was working before but when i deleted the app taskbar now things come up in full screen unless it was my imagination uh, and there are some apps that allow you to do it and some that don't um, but it is an experimental feature within android 10 and onwards uh, that allows it to do that but yeah, super impressed with it. OmniROM runs really well on a Pi 400. My idea was uh, to set it all up with Google Play Store and show it running on a Pi 400. It actually runs really well on a Pi 400. And the reason I've gone for this model is because the Pi 4 8 gig that I use works great with the Consta Kang build, but I had quite a few people contact me and say that it was running slow on their Pi 400. So this definitely runs really well on it. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.